Cynthia, we're here um, with Lucinda and Jill from Montrico. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you have <laughs> such an amazing voice. <laughs> How are you, Bart? Hey, good, good. And Lucinda, the last time we saw each other, we were at, at TNA. 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 Yes. Yeah, we've seen each other a few times at There's, that event. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're and, on so far away from each other that that's the easiest way to right? connect. Yeah, to, to connect. And so we were in Montreal, Cynthia and I, and as soon as we made our plane reservations, I told her mm-hmm. we had to come here. Yeah. So you have such a beautiful, Thank beautiful you. shop and an amazing town. Thank you. Can you tell us just a little bit about, you know, so, the town and why you're here? And So Sutton is a small town that uh, is also a ski resort town. And um, so a lot of people come for skiing, but a lot of people also come for cycling because it's very hilly and cyclists ah. seem to like that. I don't know. I just knit. Um, yeah, we <laughs> did. We did. And we saw a lake too, a big mm-hmm. lake. That's uh, Lake Brown? No, I think it's Lake Superior. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's Lake Brown. I think that was a joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and so it's a small town that's grown over the years. We have a permanent resident population of about 4,000 people. Mm. And we have two breweries. And we have that my... Brings- would that brings like a lot of people. To the today? Yeah, we'll take oh, you there. We'll, yeah, we'll have oh. lunch. You haven't had lunch, have no, you? No, we haven't. Okay. Do you like beer? Love beer. Okay. Cynthia's a uh-huh. beer aficionado. Oh, great. So another thing that I was thinking too is that we also have a lot of wineries and ciders places around here Ooh. that I'll give you a little tour of the area oh when um, when we're done. That's so exciting. The shop is beautiful, but it's not that big. So once you've seen it, been there, then uh, there you go. Okay. Just tell great. us a little bit about this one. So this one's the watercolor shawl. And this one is two skeins of ensemble light when, in two alternating colors. Oh, and it two can colors. be, um, so it's a feather and fan. Mm-hmm. It's a silk and cashmere, but oh. it can be done also with just the pure silk that Art Yarns has now. Yeah. And what's fun is mixing two multis, you don't know what you're going to get. Yes. Yeah. So you get a really neat, like, mottled watercolor effect. Yes. But you can go a solid and a multi, or you just pick two colors you like and you just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see what happens with it. And well, this just feels amazing. Mm-hmm. So is this cashmere? That's silk and cashmere. So silk it's and one cashmere. strand of silk and one strand of Have cashmere. a little feel, Cynthia. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I know. It's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, Lovely. I love the way, too, that she's dyed this where she's getting, you know, really kind of um, pretty long repeats, mm-hmm. you know, um, yeah, very pretty. So it would be similar to these colors. So it's right. actually this color, 1025, is in there. 1025 and 10. Yeah. It's actually a combination of these two colors right, right. here. Uh-huh. That's beautiful. So it really gives a neat effect Yeah. when it's knit up. Silk dream. Mm-hmm. Lovely. And... Um, Keep going. Show us. Show us some so of your other. This others. is my design. This is with yeah. the uh, July Inspiration colorway. It's called the Pink Sands Tea, and it's uh, just a great uh, tea that you could wear with a camisole, or I've been throwing it over a, a summer dress. And yes. this one, do you like? Do you know Jennifer Wood? No. Of Woodhouse. Oh my gosh, I love all of her patterns. She. Um, this is a pattern that she just did in um, Silk Dream, and it came out this morning. Okay. So, um, it's two skeins for my size. It took a little more, but <laughs> so it's two skeins of Silk Dream, mm-hmm. and it just feels amazing to have it. Like it's great as a shawl or a poncho, but when you wear it close against the skin, it just feels. Well, and look like at the drape. Mm-hmm. Look at the drape on that piece. Yeah. It looks. And it has a lovely detailing on the bottom, and it just. Very nice. Mm-hmm. There's a little sparkle in there too. Yep, there is a there's mm. a strand of glitter. I don't know if you can take it on the camera there, mm-hmm. Cynthia. But it, it there is a so it's subtle, mm-hmm. which is nice. But you know it's there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just give it a little turn, Lucinda. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Beautiful. And then there's a little bundle over here. Mm-hmm. What's this one? So this one here is. I'll send you a picture. We were just in. Um, Nova Scotia and Halifax at Peggy's Cove. Mm-hmm. So I asked Iris if she could, I showed her a picture and I said, Iris, I want yarn 
to match this photo. So um, it's a picture of Peggy's Cove of the ocean on a rock and you just see the changes of colors with the blues and so this to me is really representative and i have a picture i'll show you i'll send you guys the picture so you could show um, show the picture so i i think this mm -hmm. is one of my favorite yarns yeah that is my favorite yarn Can actually it, yeah. is it mm -hmm. it's merino it it's merino cloud it's 80 percent mm. extra fine merino with 20 percent cashmere and it's really a dream to work with. You could knit it at a large gauge, at a small gauge. Mm -hmm. It's great for sweaters, for shawls. It has such a beautiful twist mm -hmm. to it yeah. too, Lucinda. Mm -hmm. When you're knitting it, your needle just goes right into the fabric yes. and mm -hmm. it's beautiful. You could, you don't even have to actually pay attention too much to what you're doing. Right. Because the knee, like you're not going to break, cut. Or split a straight or under. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are beautiful. And then this one, is that's that an the, iris um, design? That's an iris design. That's for the September knit along that starts September um, 10th. And it's that one is actually one skein of uh, the Merino Cloud with one um, skein of the Silk Dream. So you're combining two yarns. two yarns. And so you have a contrast of textures. You have a contrast of um, brightness and sparkle. sparkle. So it's really quite fun. All with the softness of yes. the Merino mm -hmm. Cashmere. Yeah. I recognize the design. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can some I think I can now recognize Iris's yeah. <laughs> designs. That's and fantastic. Tell us what you've got on. So I have on um it's the Poncho and Silk Dream and it's the Silk Twists and it takes one skein of it takes one skein of the Silk Dream and all of Art Yarn's patterns are really cool cuz they come with a booklet of patterns mm -hmm. for um, you to knit with and this is a one skein project that comes with the pattern itself. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Just a download yeah, code or something. Yeah, download right? code, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's a neat way to do it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, Lucinda, what else do you carry? Because I'm seeing mm -hmm. um, some different brands. I'll show you some, especially sure. since you guys are uh, from, from, the, from West the West Coast. Coast. Let me show you some of the more East Coast stuff. Fantastic. So I'll show you. We have Cactus uh, Lens Studio, or Cactus Yarn Studio, mm. and she's from the Ottawa region, and she makes really beautiful colorways, and lo I love how she does a lot of solids and multi, so you can mix them together. And she has two bases, one that's a merino nylon, and one that's a merino um, nylon with bamboo, and oh. it gives a really nice uh, luster. Show me the, the merino nylon this, bamboo. Like this one, you can see that. Oh, um, yes. The, the shinier. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's a sheen to it. Yeah. And so it's really fun because that's it on a uh, solid, and it also shows up lovely on a speckled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So one of our longtime favorites is uh, Julie Eslin, and um, for a lot of people that may not know, we started our business around the same time, and I was the first store to actually um, carry her yarns. So she used to bring things in a, I said, just dye it, and she'd bring grocery bags and drive Jill nuts because there was no accounting really <laughs> happening. But uh, now we've both gotten our stuff together and our act together a little bit. So we always carry a wide selection of the Julie Eslin yarns, and we just have the new Nurtured yarns, which um, the Nurtured Fine which is a really neat uh, new addition. And the Nurtured, which is her worsted weight, is um, actually three plies of the one on the cone. Right. So this one's gonna knit as a, like a fingering. And this one is a blend of Rambouillet mm -hmm. and... Yeah. It's a Rambouillet, Targi, and Merino. Targi and Rambouillet, and nice, to meet you. nice meeting you. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye. <laughs> so the Rambouillet is actually the French Merino. So it's also got a lot of the same properties as the merino. Mm -hmm. I love knitting with this. I had picked up a skein a few years ago mm -hmm. from Julie at Knit City. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite yarns to knit with. Can I you have, talk just a, a little bit, Lucinda? In the nurtured. Oh. Which is a little too warm to wear now, but for the weather Beautiful. here, it's Look really at that. great. Look at this pop of pink here in the pocket. And this so one has, cute. This one has a little heart in the pocket. Aww. <laughs> I love that Cute. detail. Can you... Up, sorry, uh, what pattern is this, Lucinda? Um, I'll have to tell you, but it's um, one of the Polish designers that I love, but I probably can't pronounce her name properly okay. right okay. now. So I'll, I'll give you the information we'll for that. that. Yeah. Okay. Can you just describe, Lucinda, in your own words and opinion, mm -hmm. the technique that Julie uses to dye? Because it's very different from other dyers. Um, so Julie uses, and I know because I've been there and I've seen her do it. Mm -hmm. um, so Julie uses a lot of uh, like 
pot, like dyeing in the pots. And I think what's really neat about it is that, so for example, in a skein like this, you do see that the color's very nuanced. So this is done in a pot, I believe. And what happens is depending on the temperature and the dye she's using, whether the color will strike. And so she, it's a long process to make sure that um, once one color sets, then she has to get the temperature just right so that the next um, color she adds, it's, I think it's called layering. Okay. I'm not the, the specialist, yep. but so it's really a refined um, way of doing it. And typically what happens is you get a really beautiful result when you knit it up. She's got some beautiful new colorways that are a little bit done differently. So this is her new jardinier. And the little, um, the difference is that this one, the way it's dyed, it's such a beautiful color. But from one skein to another, and even within the skein, you'll get some differences. And she was, I know she was a little concerned, well, will people be okay with that? And I was like, you know what? It's just too beautiful not to have. So we'll just have to learn um, how to do it. And I'm actually knitting a sweater in the worsted weight that's coming out uh, from Jennifer Wood in October or around Knit City. So it's really a fun um, that she's experimenting with different techniques mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So many shawls and things nowadays are done in pieces or mm -hmm. different shaping. And I think having skeins that do um, have a little bit of difference between them mm -hmm. can be really striking. Yes, I agree. The same but different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? Yeah. And you know it's all part of the same. And you know it's it just makes you feel even more so that it's done by hand. And yes. That it's, there's a process that's mm -hmm. taken to yeah. do that yeah nice okay and, um so we carry the lopi another favorite brand of ours is amelie or ilimani so yes. we like the sabri we like a whole bunch every we like all the ilimani yarns and alvaro is a great guy that's a company that's in montreal so we really like it i tend to design a lot in um in it um i'll show you i have a couple designs here so it's like show and tell with sisters, Isn't you know, it? Mm -hmm. yeah. just like going rummaging through someone's closet. <laughs> so this Love is, it. um, oh, uh, look how cute this is. Mm -hmm. This um, is like a vest. How do you wear this? It's yeah. a vest. You, you wear it in the fall. You wear it in the winter with like long sleeve t-shirt and jeans. You mm -hmm. just throw it over. It's really what I like about Emily is it's really lightweight. Mm -hmm. So it's warm. And, yeah. um, I remember going to TNNA in a January and wearing this. It was perfect. Um, but you can even do something simple, like a, just a triangular shawl. And you trimmed that one in a, in a pretty in a gray. gray. Yeah. And then this is Ooh, um, Jules' you like... shawl, because he was jealous of mine. So I had to make him one. So this is um, this is his shawl. I often give French names to it. So <laughs> this one's Urbain des, um, des Bois, so the urban guy of the woods, because we used to live uh, in Vancouver for many years and then moved to the woods. So... Um, this one's and this one's mine so just an undulating cables and it just drapes really nicely very but pretty everything about these yarns the colors are well chosen mm -hmm. they're really fun to to knit with i really enjoy them they have so. a nice shine to them mm -hmm. too it's because the core is silk ah. so it's a, a silk injected core i'll put it the right side Mm -hmm. So um, it's so it's a mesh of silk injected with alpaca. So yeah, very shiny, but yet very light. Yes. So mm -hmm. how many skeins would you use? So mine takes uh, five, and Jill's is four, just because as a man you don't want it to be so crazy big. But what's nice is the width is the same, but when he wears it, he just scrunches it down mm -hmm. and wraps and, it and around wraps a it few around times. So it's. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So you can just a little bulky. Yeah, a little bulkier. So that would be four hundred grams. That's really nothing. Mm -hmm. The you know, it's not heavy. It's very light. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, like even their big one, the Cadena. And we have Brooklyn Tweed, which we love. We have, uh, of course, art yarns that we looked at. We have Fleece Artists, which we've had over the years, different stuff, and we're mm -hmm. getting lots more in. We just met with them in Halifax and had a really good time and. You know, Jill's big thing was like, oh, let's take this. Let's take this. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, we need to make samples of everything. But they have such beautiful yarns. It's really hard to it's, resist. And I'm making a shawl right now with their gradients. And um, Oh, so yes, show, show us that. that. We'll go look over there. I don't know if... Um, oh, yes, So I'm putting beautiful. the finishing touches on this um, shawl. So it's one gradient kit. It's backwards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
This is and so pretty. And I'm just pretty. doing a sideways edging because every once in a while I get bored of doing the same thing. So yep. it's good to go in other directions. Mm -hmm. That's and, uh, very so I'm pretty. And so just uh, finishing this up. And uh, that's in go the grab Merino a... cashmere. Um, the Merino. Well, we'll keep walking. <laughs> okay, okay. Sure. With the, so this is in, um, this is a Merino cashmere and they're Casbah 5 ply. So that's, uh, I love designing with the yeah. stuff that just inspires me. Yes. And when we were on our trip, everything I knit was blue because of the ocean, I think. Yeah. So, um, and there's that. We love, we love ancient arts. Mm. And uh, so we have, um, just like you guys have the hat tricks and yep. all these really cool stuff. We have our own and we like photography a lot. So our ancient arts custom colors are inspired by my photography. And we're going to have a new edition coming out because we just went on vacation. And um, But these are just some of the ones that we have that are either special to us because we were on vacation or they're where we're from. So Look at this. Where was this, this one? This is Couleur de Saguenay, which is in the Lac Saint-Jean region. So these are in the both similar area. Wow. Beautiful. And Caroline does just such an amazing mm -hmm. job. Doesn't she? And this is in Percy. This was last year's summer vacation. Your photography is stunning. Too, Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <gasps> you. And then this that. is Couleur de Québec. Beautiful. This is Couleur d'Estrie, which is our local uh, one because we, um, in the fall, people flock to this area yeah. to see the change in colors of the leaves. And this is Couleur de, uh, de Saint-Laurent in the Gaspésie region. So these Look are in a how, very similar. Look at how she's got those colorways. Mm -hmm. Just beautiful. And look at this one. And because every shop dog needs their own color. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Shalita, our dog, gets her own one. I was going to get. Now we have to find. Where, where is Shalita? Shalita's over there. Okay. She's sleeping. We'll go say hello in a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, Shalita, you want to say hello? Shalita, look at these leaves. <laughs> you want to say hello? She wants cuddles. Hi, huh, Chucho. Hi. Oh, she wants you she wants you to scratch her. Yeah.